And welcome to Greg's Maker Corner. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a VZBot 330. This printer is sponsored by Provoke 3D, also known as Boxy Prints. Provoke 3D, also known as Boxy Prints, has been in business since 2020. And if you want to get a VZBot, they're definitely the place to go. They're one of the few authorized U.S. vendors that sell the Mellowfly kit. And I really do believe it's the best kit you can get. Boxy Prints, Provoke 3D have also sponsored several of my past printer builds, including my most recent Voron 0.2. Uh, so be sure to check them out if you need printer parts. The VZBot is a little bit of a departure from what you may be used to seeing on my channel. For the last year or two, really, I've been talking a lot about the Voron printer family. One of the reasons that I was interested in this printer is just because of some of the speeds that it can produce. I've seen speeds up to 50K with 1,000 millimeters per second print speeds. There's a lot of interest there for me in that regard. This is quite a box. This thing weighs about 70 pounds. It is definitely better if you have two people to lift this up. It's going to be a good sized printer. Without further ado, let's get this thing unboxed. Okay, we got styrofoam. Yay. This is nice. The first thing we've got is a packing list, which is going to include, I assume, all of the bomb. It looks like there's a pre-built gantry here, which is very nice. We've got these very solid metal CNC parts. Got this really nice rail. Um, yeah, look at this. You can see everything's packed in here really nice and tight. And these huge, massive fans. There's also this box. Looks like it's a motor cable, probably, for that motor. And we've got some other CNC'd parts. Wow, the quality of this is amazing. And let's go ahead and take a look at box one while we got it open. We've got some uh, pins here. I will definitely be learning what all this is as I go through it. We've also got some jumpers. And a few other, uh, there's a label for maybe the power supply here, or the board, I'm not sure which. And then we've got a really nice board here. Now this is definitely a Mellowfly board. It's got a lot of steppers, or a lot of spots for stepper motors, as you can see up here. It's a Super Infinity Pro, is what it's labeled as. So I've never used this board before, but I've used the Gemini and been pretty happy with it. I just had to take the fan out. Man, this thing is big. It's a Jisimi, I'm not sure how you say that. 24-volt uh, brushless fan, double ball bearing. And it is a big sucker. And this guy's pretty good size, too. It's another brushless fan, 24-volt. That is going to move some air. Wow. So when you're operating at faster speeds, you're definitely going to need to push some air. And, of course, we've got some bearings. I believe these are for the rods. They are LMK10. LUU, so 10 millimeter rods. And we've got, it's like four of those. And this looks like it's for the fan. It's like kind of like a CPAP tube. I really do like the tray system. It makes it really easy to find things and to lift things out. So that was, uh, that was a great idea for Mellifly to pack things like this. And now we've got tray number two. And there are some really nice uh, smooth rods here. And we've got a lead screw. Couple lead screws. Those are going to be used for the, the Z axis. And we've got some really nice aluminum extrusion in black. And they're pre, it looks like they're pre drilled as well. And there's two power supplies here as well. They're, they appear to be Meanwell LRS 350s, 48. And we've got a LRS 350 24 volt. And I might as well look at these boxes while I've got it here. So in box three, we have an AC inlet. We also have the power cord. And in box number two, okay, we've got a little bit of a belt here. We've got a pulley, we've got a, a lot of belt, gates belt. And we've got some stepper motors with heat sinks, some limit switches, some springs and probably bed mounts here. We've got an SSR for the AC bed. And we've got a pre-crimped cable. So we've got a 750 watt, 110 volt heated bed. This is gonna allow for a really quick heat up time. There's also a PEI sheet with a magnetic sheet. And I think the other side is textured. Yes, the other side is indeed textured. It's a very nice ground down aluminum bed. This is what you're gonna apply your heated bed to. And then we've got this chassis here as well. This is actually really lightweight. And now I'm in the bottom of the box here, and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox those on the bench. And you can also see over here, we've got 
a den mounting mounting strip. This is going to be great for mounting things too. Got a cable chain, and then we've also got this uh, this racetrack. So that's going to be used for hiding wiring. And I'll go ahead and start with these lettered boxes. So we got box A. This is going to be the display. Just a, it's a fly LCD gen. We've also got a ribbon cable for it, and a little a little board here with a ribbon attachment. And next up, we've got box B. And here we've got a fan, it looks like. Check that out, yeah. And this is where that CPAP, I think, is going to connect. And then we've got a potentiometer, a.k.a. a knob. And we've got one of these. And I believe this is most likely for the fan controller. So this does connect to it, and this is the fan. So we'll find out how to use that as I go. And moving along to box C. Lots of little parts here, metal parts. Got part of the uh, hot, the extruder. Wow, that is very sharp. Got a little bit of a, oh, it looks like a, the hot end here. Part of the hot end anyway. And I believe this is the Goliath. So this is quite a beast. And then you can see some of the wiring that's connected into there, the thermistor and the heater. And we've got a nozzle as well as a thermistor. Looks like the screw-in type. Very good. And we've got box D, ZZ330. And we've got a bunch of fans in here. So we've got several 12 volts and a 24 volt. And the remaining boxes in this tray are numbered 4567. The other thing that I did notice is that this bomb does have the number of pieces, the box numbers. So if you're wondering what something is, you can kind of cross-reference the number here. So box four, we're going to find probably motor extension cables in here. Yep, sure enough, motor extension cables. And we've also got some TMC drivers. So these are very hefty stepper drivers. The heat sink and everything. And there's two, two of those in there. Number five. Same thing, just uh, another set of them. Number six, this one's got some weight to it. So these are all the metal fasteners that you're going to need for your build. There's also some, looks like some corner block, corner bracket blocks, T-nuts. So we've got M5s, M4s, and then M3s. So there's a little bit of everything. And it looks like there's even some smaller M2s maybe. Yep, M2s. We've also got others, which is an assortment of different things, even magnets here. And we'll wrap it up here with box seven. Ah, oh, some wires. So these are just uncrimped, uncut wires of various gauges. It's nice that they do provide that. I'm sure some would like them to be crimped, but I don't mind crimping. Whew, I think I might have broke a sweat doing that unboxing. Uh, that was heavy, but hey, it was, it was well worth it. My first impressions are uh, this is a really nice boxed up kit. And I mean, it's just, it's very, very well done. There's some quality components in there. There's a lot of metal parts, a lot of machining. So it makes sense why the price point is high, even with the electronics, right? There's a lot of nice quality electronics and motors in there. I am going to be doing a build video as I go. I'm sure I'm going to make mistakes along the way. But my goal is to make this where you, if you want to build one of these, you get a good sense of how this comes together and, and what you might expect when you build a kit. Now this is a little bit of uncharted territory for me. It's been a while since I've done a non-Voron printer. I know that there are a lot of things that I've gotten used to, especially in, on the documentation side. But you know what? Hey, I've, I've been here before. Uh, before I started building Vorons, I was building Hypercube Evolutions, which had pretty much a CAD drawing. I do know that there is documentation for the VZBot 330, and I'm looking forward to going through there. I know there's also several live streams and, and videos that I can use as references. Stay tuned. It is probably going to take me a little bit of time to get the build videos out, but uh, I will get those out, and I'm looking forward to this build. As always, thanks again for watching Greg's Maker Corner.